Hello, I see here. The witness, once we're uh, done here with the text client. I've been talking about the hint system, but never used it. So I'm here on the text client, like I said. Uh, if I just type exclamation hint as a command, it tells me all the hints that are either for my world or in my world. Uh, so since Hollow Knight automatically hints at any shop item you see, that's, I think, I think it has to be either useful or progression. I don't think it hints junk items automatically, but that's why we see some things here. And then it says a hint costs nine points. You have 61 points. Uh, you get one point for each location you search, and the hint cost is, um, yeah, it's 10% of your total location count. So since the witness has 90 locations, it's nine points. And then I typed slash items to get a list of the item names, because I don't happen to know the name of that, uh, uh, the door timer. So yeah, I thought, we're searching for one item, I might as well show the hint system to find where it is. So I'm gonna live, press enter on this command, and find that it's at Quarry Stoneworks Control Room Left. So that's where we need to go. I'll meet you in the game. All right, we're in the game. And I need to connect still, all right. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's go over to the Quarry Stoneworks. I must have been missing a... Uh, something. <laughs> Puzzle symbol, perhaps? So yeah, not actually gonna solve that puzzle that I uh, parked at at the end of the last part. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering if with the laser box long goal, whether there actually can be items in, um... Something. Uh, in the mountain. I'm also kind of wondering where my triangles are. <laughs> but, uh, I guess we don't need them. Yeah, this is the quarry stoneworks. What didn't I solve in here? Because, like, I don't know the name of every location. Was it, like, this? Was this off? It doesn't look very solved now. It also looks pretty similar to <laughs> the puzzle that we just, uh, ran away from on account of it not having anything useful. Uh, let's see. So we've got three possible exits, two possible starts. We have five puzzle skips. I could just skip this puzzle and be done, but... <laughs> That would be quite a silly video of just walking places. Um, try to start here, grab that dot. Try to connect white things to edges. Oh, this is, that's something. We have an eraser. Yeah, at some point we need to come around like this, it seems like, and this dot is very troublesome. So we're probably erasing something around here. I just want to play with the puzzle a bit more before I try to commit to any ideas. Um. Okay, so maybe... Uh... Maybe that dot gets erased. Because this is looking good. No, it's, it is good. Okay, receive treehouse, laser house, door, timer, panel. Um, so that's what we need. We can head over to treehouse. And this isn't the way with the ramp. I could just use these controls and move down. Whatever. Yeah, let's do it. Oh wait, this will just go down all the way. I don't need to use that ramp control too. <laughs> It's completely useless if you have the uh, elevator control or whatever that's called. Um, I think treehouse is this way. Oh, but right, I need to use the boat because my bridge is configured to go over to the laser. 
Let's uh, go to the boathouse. any like final remarks I want to give <laughs> this being the end of the archipelago I'm gonna be putting the uh, total times for all uh, individual games into the description I think that'll be a fun statistic and I still have all the video files so I can just make windows add it up for me uh, and then manually add things from the mixed video which was episode 16 um, <laughs> Yeah, I've mentioned I'll probably do Archipelago again someday. It'll probably have Link to the Past in it next time. But, uh, I think I mentioned before, I wanted to have a set of games that don't require emulation. Just to, like, have a set of games that don't require emulation. I don't think I should need to explain that further. <laughs> um... Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, you may have noticed every time I connected on camera that it said local host. Uh, there's a much easier way to host games using the website, but I don't know how to like hide a room or make it password protected or anything. So in the interest of not having anyone join my game and find a bunch of items without me being there, I decided to uh, locally host mine. But it's actually very easy to run one of these. Uh, let's see, where's the... There it is. Um, we got our laser, we gotta head to the mountain now. I could just reconfigure the bridge. That's not gonna be any better than taking the boat again, though. Um, yeah, what else? Uh, Sonic will probably come back if I do this again, but I'll do Chaos Emerald Hunt so that it ends with Green Hill Zone. Uh, Time Spinner will likely come back with uh, fixed settings, like the ones I actually intended. Oh yeah, Sonic will also have Mission Shuffle. Um... Let's see, what else? Um, probably won't have Slate Aspire in it again. Might do Rogue Legacy again. Possibly with a different starting class. Maybe we just take, um... Oh, what's it called? Traitor? Um, that would be a fun class to show. Um, yeah, and then, um, I'd probably be looking to add in other new games besides Link to the Past. Although, I don't know if I want necessarily want to go bigger than this time. This felt like a pretty reasonable size. Oh yeah, would I think about Hollow Knight now? I mean, I'd, I'd probably include it again. It was fun. Um, but also... <laughs> Not sure how we would make it different than this time. I don't know, if anyone has any opinions on, like, what they'd want to see more of. I keep thinking of buying Subnautica. Wait, the mountain's this way. Because Subnautica has an archipelago randomizer. But, like, I don't... I don't know if I'd like it. I might. Uh, similar with uh, Factorio, I think, is the one. I, I might have mixed it up with Satisfactory. Yeah, I mean, I had fun, <laughs> and it's gonna be different every time. I'm not just gonna run the same games with the same settings. But of course, next up after this, I am planning on playing things that are not randomizer. Um, I still haven't tried Outer Wilds, so not gonna hard commit to it. Um, how do you get the perspective you need for the long laser box? I think I need the staircase open first. Which means I have to solve this puzzle. <laughs> I could skip it, I suppose. Um, with laser box short, you don't have to solve this puzzle. You just win. Um, yeah, there's no crouch button. Okay, so this puzzle... Um, I 
Wait, I definitely need a perspective that lets me see the end I'm trying to get to. Uh, oh, there's a black square over there, too. Uh, hmm. <laughs> No, that's not gonna work. Uh... Huh. Maybe I can play with the other angles first. Can I get through here? No, that cable's blocking me. What about from this perspective? Wait, uh, this doesn't work. Here we go. Did that, was that incorrect? What was wrong with it? Did I not enclose both those together? Oh wait, no, there are three black objects. I only need two. Right. <laughs> the the rules of the puzzle once again. Um, how do I separate the black and the white, and the black? Yeah, every um, start point needs to go directly across, pretty much. Okay, if I step right he here a little. Because, yeah, you might notice whenever I start the puzzle, uh, two of the endpoints disappear. Alright, that's one. We've unlocked one third of the staircase. Oh, this is kind of promising. No. Uh, what was incorrect there? Oh, this white and that black. Okay. Right. <laughs> um. But I liked the idea of putting this star with this square. I don't know if it's the answer, but I liked it. Uh... The path, if that is how I match things up, though, definitely can't go through the the white square. Hmm, what about something like this? Oh yeah, that's gonna be it. So separate the white pieces in their own little world and separate that black square that way. Let's see, yeah. So this is the only one left that isn't solved. Maybe something like this? No. <laughs> I have put the black square with the white square. That's no good, unless I can get a perspective that lets me also go around that black square somehow. Uh, there is no perspective that works. That foot is directly on that line. Um, hmm. There are definitely, like, a few different ways to approach this. Well, if I could just go through this corner twice, I think this would be a working solution. Yeah, it looks like it, but we can't, so it isn't. 
Um, now do I puzzle skip? <laughs> we sure would immediately be done. Um, But, you know, it's fun to solve puzzles. I probably won't include the witness again. <laughs> um, it's not like I hate it. <laughs> Just, I thought it was different, and it is, but... At the same time, it's a little slow. Hmm. Was there a way to just... Haven't I, like, already done this? Oh, maybe I have. W wait, which one haven't I done then? It was this one. <laughs> Oops, I got all turned around. Must be all the turning around I did. Um... Okay, so besides the black pieces having too many in one space, that would be a working thing. Um. <laughs> That's completely wrong. Uh, the white star wouldn't be satisfied. That is actually the only thing that's wrong, huh? Find the angle. So... Hmm. They're kind of like three distinct ways of looking at this that are vaguely plausible. Because I need to be able to get across the middle somehow. Like this line. So either like here... I guess here. And then like... So this is actually four, huh? Uh, four is a lot like three. I just hadn't considered that one of them might possibly work. Have I tried? I've probably tried things like this already. Can I, like... No, I can't, like, get up to this corner and then come back. Oh? I think this is it. I feel like this is very similar to one of the other solutions, which might be why I got confused. Triangles was at the very end. Wow. Uh, but anyway, we just need to get on this staircase, and now we can see the bottom of the box. And there's another ending. Uh. Why did... I'm checking the server. Yeah, it says Class Year Witness Team 1 has completed their goal. I'm used to items streaming across when the goal is completed, but... Maybe there were no more items in the world? The last spots might have all been Rogue Legacy? It's possible. But, uh, yeah. The archipelago is fully done. Every game has been cleared. <laughs> we could listen to the audio log up here again. But no. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I want to solve one puzzle with triangles in it. 
and, and then we'll end the video. So yeah, there's a vault here, I think. Yeah, I like the triangles puzzles, and I went the wrong way. It's up here. The mountain discard panel. Thought that might be the closest triangles puzzle. There's one in Sound Jungle that's always a 1x2. <laughs> okay, so triangles. For each triangle in a square, you need to have the line pass by that square once. Um. Huh. Can we start up here? And then... Oh dear. <laughs> There we go. I did a triangle puzzle. <laughs> and it did send out an item. I guess the witness just doesn't have an automatic release. I thought it used to. Anyway. See ya.